building a code hierarchy in Atlas TI Mac. This code list shows a number of independent codes. To create a code hierarchy, you need to sort independent codes under an empty code. Here we create two new codes. Let's move the independent codes, all of which have something to do with positive parenting experiences, under the new code Positive Effects. Code groups can facilitate this process, especially if your code list grows longer. We repeat this process for the codes that indicate negative experiences. Note that the icon of the previously empty code has changed. It has now become a category code. The groundedness of a category code is the total number of all quotations coded by its subcodes. Therefore, a code needs to be empty before it can become a category code. This allows you to query your data on the subcode level as well as the aggregated category level. An additional option you have is to organize your categories and codes into folders. Here you see a number of independent codes. Folders are a good way to collect all independent codes. This helps you to stay organized and to maintain a better overview. In case you were wondering how many hierarchical levels there are, the answer is two plus the folders. You can have as many levels of folders as you want. You may have seen hierarchical code systems like this one. They are actually not very useful. We explain this in the remainder of this video. First, let's let Pat Baisley, author of the book Qualitative Data Analysis Practical Strategies, explain it. If you have a typical project of moderate complexity, it should require no more than 10 top-level parent categories to cover the topic. Furthermore, most code systems do not go more than two or three levels deep. If they do, it is likely that the categories being used are no longer true subcategories of the higher order categories they are under. And on a practical level, it becomes inconvenient for the coder to remember, locate, and effectively use them. Let's take a look at this four-level code system again. The codes related to positive experiences of parenthood are now third and fourth level codes instead of forming a category of their own. This is exactly what is meant by they are no longer true subcategories of the higher order category. This prevents you from querying your data effectively. With a two level hierarchy, you can freely relate the subcodes of the various categories to each other. Instead of multiplying the negative experiences codes under the number of children category, you can use the code co-occurrence table to relate number of children with negative experiences. Then compare it with positive experiences. Or use the category code and compare positive and negative experiences of respondents with one child or two or more children on the aggregated level. Or relate the number of children to any other category in your code system. A code system such as this one is easy to handle and gives you the most flexibility in querying your data. This code system is based on our Children and Happiness Sample Project, which you can download from our website. Parts of the data set are 100 plus comments from social networks, which are contained in two documents. Therefore, sociodemographic data is coded. If you work with interview data, you need to create document groups to capture the sociodemographic characteristics of the respondents. See our video on organizing project data in the link below.